interested to get some feedback from our dealers over the last day as to what they're seeing and what they're feeling. And early on, it would, it would appear it's business as usual. Um, you know, the one thing I, I believe the independent does very well is not overreact to market conditions uh, on the spot. Um, and specifically, you know, dealers that do business in, in highly commodity um, focused markets like Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, I think they understand that there is going to be cycles and uh, they prepare well for those cycles. You know, they don't overexpand during good times and they contract well when times get lean. And I think that's one of the attributes that an independent uh, has that corporately is very difficult for some of you know, the box competitors to compete with and more of the corporate structures. The valuation's been fairly rapid and um, I think uh, again regionally it'll have different impact. Uh, I think it makes the manufacturing segment of Central Canada, you know, Ontario, Quebec that much more attractive. Uh, I believe it also gives opportunity to a lot of uh, those rural areas of Canada where uh, tourism is, uh, is a large market opportunity and you know, I'm thinking of areas like the, the south shore of uh, Nova Scotia. Um, those areas where we will quickly see the American money uh, um, uh, flow back into the uh, into the market, uh, so so the dollar is going to have some some varying impacts. I think from the manufacturing side, uh, I think the industry should be prepared for a wave of cost increases over the next uh, six to twelve months if the dollar continues down its current path. Uh, but all that being said, um, you know, for every issue that we have in whether cost of goods rising, uh, I think there's a reciprocal benefit that uh, that uh, our dealers will feel. Um, and, you know, to be quite honest, as opposed to, you know, a lot of uh, the uh, Canadian tourism dollars flowing out of, the, uh, out of the, uh, the economy, maybe some of those start to reside at home and maybe a little bit more renovation spent on the cottage, a little more renovation spent around the house. Uh, so I think there's a positive dynamic that we could take from all of that. As far as the, the impact on oil, yeah, there are some negative implications to Alberta and Saskatchewan. Um, there is the opportunity that it will create a drag in the economy and maybe some downside to the, to the home renovation market. Uh, that being said, there's a, there's a positive opportunity that, uh, that springs as uh, a Canadian dollar devalues. And um, you know, as our dollar has, uh, has devalued fairly rapidly, we've seen very quick signs in Ontario and Quebec that the manufacturing segment is ramping back up to take advantage of that opportunity. So you know, being part of this large national footprint um, as a buying group, uh, typically as we see one market sag, there are other markets, other segments of the market that'll uh, that'll pick up that opportunity and move forward. So, you know, I, I believe honestly, um, the oil issue is uh, will be a relatively short-term dynamic. Um, but that being said, you know, uh, independents are I think very well positioned to deal with the challenges of fluctuating market conditions.